Kajabi recently updated their community tab. So today I thought it'd be kind of fun to take you behind the scenes and show you all the different features and how to set up your own community within Kajabi. By the way, if you want to take advantage of a free 30 day trial of Kajabi to play with the platform yourself, you can use my link profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. This is an affiliate link, so I get a small percentage of your investment in Kajabi, but there's no extra cost to you compared to if you went through Kajabi's website yourself. All this does is simply support me and this channel for referring someone to Kajabi. But when you sign up with my link, I'm gonna give you instant access to a course I created called Kajabi Kickstart, which is gonna help you set up and launch your online business with Kajabi in that first 30 days. On top of that, when you're inside of Kajabi Kickstart, you will have access to a free 45 minute coaching session with me where you and I both get to deep dive into your Kajabi account and I will be there to answer any questions you have about Kajabi, marketing, or even making your first sale with the platform. All of this is free and you can get instant access by going to profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi or clicking the link down in the description. Without further ado, let's dive into Kajabi. To get started building out your community inside of Kajabi, we're gonna to go to the products tab and then go down to community. From here, it'll say create your community, set up a community you want to start selling, which is super cool. You can sell this community as a product, basically, which is gonna help you with like a membership site. Um, we're just kind of diving in to see what is entailed in setting up a community uh, for you. So we'll hit get started. From here, gives you a quick rundown of what's inside a community. Create a vibrant and engaging community with multiple groups to create unique areas for your members to interact or monetize differently. It gives you a couple available features like live video, a mobile app, meetups, challenges, post feed, and video recordings as well. That's what we want to build. We're going to hit get started and we can decide what we want to call this. We'll call it James's awesome community. This community is... Awesome. We're gonna hit continue. You can upload an image. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Not a big deal. This will be my name. So we'll say James Allen, hit continue. And then from here you can decide if you want it to be paid or free. It's really up to you. And you can decide, let's say that this is a subscription. You know, if it was a community, that's what I'd have. Not, I mean, you could maybe could do like a, a yearly, like a multi-pay where they require several monthly payments if you wanted to, or you can do one time. I think a subscription makes sense for people if you were gonna have this be a uh, community, a paid community. And you can, you know, 50 bucks, it could be even less, kind of like a membership site. Build every one month, okay? We'll say it's Stripe, and then we'll say save and finish. Okay, from here we get a little rundown of the community. So bird's eye view of your community, edit your community details, nominate ambassadors or expert UGC and emails and more, got it. You can create challenges, circles, announcements uh, or meetups for your community. That's the create button. The circles, what does your community like to talk about? This is a list of your circles for lively discussions and friendships, got it. And then ask us anything. If you want to, you can just send them an email over to Kajabi. They are here to support you, which is something that I really love about Kajabi. So right here, the community is 33% ready. It says to start a challenge. We'll hit create challenge. From here, you can decide to do a one-time challenge or a recurring challenge if you wanted to as well. Uh, challenges are great for just keeping your community engaged. I think it's a really cool feature that Kajabi has added in here. And this is something you don't really see really going on inside of Facebook groups. I mean, someone could theoretically have a challenge going, but what's cool is that there's a recurring challenge. So from whatever the starting day, we'll just leave it on today. My community members will complete this challenge every day, every week, every month. Let's say every week for four weeks, we'll say. And this is just going to be recurring where every week you're going to remind people and challenge them, like it says right here, example, seven days of meditation. Or we can do the one-time challenge starting from today, or you can pick whatever day you want. Um, you can schedule this out too if you wanted to. My community members will have 14 days or 30 days, we'll leave it on 14, to complete this challenge. The challenge will be under series, new challenges, or you can create a new series. From here, you can write whatever kind of title you want, 
the name of your series, for the example, from fearful to fearless, if you wanted to. As a description, what will your members accomplish from completing this series? Be explicit about the outcome your members can expect. So from there, you can create a new challenge series if you wanted. So we're just going to leave it at this for now. We'll click here. And then we get to create our own challenge, self-portrait, something at home, productivity tips. Heck yeah. We'll click on that. And it says, I'm always trying out new productivity tricks, tips and tricks. Let's help each other out by posting your go-to productivity hack this week. Try out one and report back. I didn't even have to write that in. Kajabi automatically put that in for me and I could even change this up as I please. So we'll hit next. We'll roll with it. And from here, you can pick a random photo. Uh, you can leave it as is with that one photo, or you can upload a new photo or even a video where you have an announcement of like, hey, uh, we're going to be doing a productivity challenge inside of this group. If it's a business related uh, group or someone who's striving for entrepreneurship, productivity is always a great topic. So I'm just going to leave it as is. I'll hit save. And then from here, this is what you're going to see and people can decide to join right there. You can also sort from popularity, oldest to newest. Uh, newest to oldest as well. Now, if you're inside the group, whether you're the person hosting the group or your attendees uh, are just inside of the group and they want to make a post, they can always go up here to this right hand corner, click the plus sign, and then they can create a new challenge, circle, meetup, or announcement. Uh, from here, they can just make basically a post and they can upload a photo. And this works very similar to a Facebook post. Okay, a Facebook group post, very similar thing. If you want to invite people to join this community, you can click this button, invite, and that's going to give you an auto-populated link that you can click on. You can send this out to your email list, to your Instagram followers, to your Facebook group. If you have a Facebook group and you want to convert people over to your community, you would say, hey, this is a new community I created. We're going to be actually moving off of Facebook and it's going to be much more in depth. We have challenges and meetups and we have some more options in Kajabi that we don't really get on Facebook in the Facebook group section. So from here, you can copy this link and share it as you please. Now, if you want to customize your group more, the way you can do that is by going here to these three dots and you can hit settings. From here, you're going to have all the different settings related to um, setting up your group. So there's the stats inside the group, how many new members, messages sent, meetups, uh, challenge submissions are great, and you can view those as well. Uh, you have a little bit of support from Kajabi up here where you can send feedback about your community if it's not working out the way you want it to or what you like about it. Watch a webinar where they run you through the entire process, the help center, and some setup examples as well. We'll click over here to customization, and these are the customization features you're going to have. So you can allow direct messages to the founder, to you, where people can directly message you. I think if it's a paid community, they should be able to message you, okay? Because they're, they're paying to be in there. They should have access to the creator, especially if it's a monthly recurring revenue or a monthly recurring subscription. It's revenue for you. I would allow this personally. Live room is always open to join. You can decide if you want to turn that off. Uh, member directories are visible. Show the community leader and then send email notifications to members as well. And here you can also create new challenges, new meetups, new circles, new announcements if you want to send that out to everybody inside of your group. And then you can even have a handful of resources as well. So enable custom page. As you can see right down here, there's home, meetups, live room, and then we also get resources. It's a new tab or as they call it, a page inside of here. And this is where you can put different videos or worksheets, uh, downloadables, that kind of stuff inside of your community. But it's really easy to access because they can just click on that top tab and they can take advantage of the different resources that you have. Or you can even also make this your primary page. As soon as people land in your community, the primary page is the resources page, which could be really helpful, especially if you want people to download a handful of resources or just know that they're available. You can make that the primary page as well. So that's a quick look into Kajabi communities. I hope this is helpful for you. And if you're considering trying out Kajabi, I would highly recommend to consider checking out my link because you get a 30 day free trial and set up a 14 day trial like you do through Kajabi. Uh, there's no extra cost to you if you decide to sign up. From using my link, I just get a small commission for referring someone to Kajabi because I love this platform. I love everything that they add to it. 
It's really a very robust platform and gives you everything and more that you need to have a successful online business. When you use my link, you get a 30 day trial. You also get the Kajabi Kickstart course, which is five lessons to help you fully set up and automate your online business in that first 30 days. And inside of that course, you also get a link where you can book a one-to-one -one coaching call with me where I'll answer any questions you have about Kajabi, marketing, sales, uh, your business, your goals, whatever it is, I'm here to support you as a big thank you for using my link and trying it out. It's down in the description, profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. Now let me know what you think about the community feature down in a comment below. What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? Um, I'd love to hear your questions, love to hear your thoughts down there and I'll do my best to get to each and every single one of them. I hope this was helpful and insightful and I'll see you in the next one.